what the dislike button means to me. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today, as I stated in that first sentence, is I'm going to talk about really quick the dislike button. And this is not because I'm looking at looking at dislikes I have and going, oh, yo, I'm getting disliked and crying or something like that or making me feel bad. Like, I generally don't care about likes or dislikes. I mean, it's cool. Oh, hey, I got 10 likes. Oh, I got a dislike. I'm just, like, I just was looking at some of the videos and just really confused because I was looking at my most recent video where I was talking about my stance on YouTube. The vlog I made, I think, like... A couple days like one or two days after I got back so it was pretty recent but I didn't upload it for a couple of days because I was just feeling like you know get away from stuff a little bit longer um, but basically I uploaded that yesterday or yeah yesterday um, and basically it got it just has that one like and one dislike and I I always get confused because on occasion you know get dislikes just like everybody everybody gets dislikes um, at some point if you know you start to like get some subs or something and I always get confused because you know as you know someone who makes YouTube videos I can tell you that a lot of like a lot of times maybe like at, at the point where you stop caring about the numbers and you go oh it's just subscribers just likes just views whatever it doesn't really matter i as long as I'm you know whatever doing it you know if you get to that point where you're kind of sitting in the spot so long that you kind of go like oh you know what I that, like you just because usually when you're on YouTube if you're growing fast you're like oh yeah I'm gonna hit the next milestone oh, yeah like you're waiting for the next milestone like when I was growing really fast I'm like next next milestone I'm like sitting there like looking at the clock like oh when I'm gonna hit the next one am I gonna hit the next one but now I've been sitting for a while and I'm like like I don't really care when I hit the next one I hit the next one I'm gonna be like, yeah, thank you guys so much. Like, I'm gonna thank you and I'm gonna be grateful, but I'm not gonna sit here and stare at like my live sub count and go, when am I gonna hit this many subs? Mm, and stand there and stare at it. So, when you kinda don't really necessarily care about the numbers as much, you kinda start to look at them and go, like, oh, what do these numbers mean? Oh, oh, I only got uh, this video got 10 views, this video got 100 views, oh, what does that mean? And you're trying to decipher what all everything means and why and this and what did what and basically yeah so one thing I I wanted to talk about was the, um, the dislike button um, basically just for the fact is that for some reason you know at certain points I'll get like every other video I'll get like dislikes and I'll like get a dislike like randomly like or blah, 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 blah. I'll get a dislike maybe every other every other video then you know it'll be like a lot maybe some likes or nothing after a while for a while and then it'll be just random dislike then every other day and I'll be I just don't understand like you a lot of times it's been when I've done like convert like not when I've done like videos like this like my stance on YouTube is an important video to me and important in video to what I have to do for YouTube and it just really doesn't help me when people leave dislikes because you know I'm just gonna tell you right now is that leaving dislikes I, you don't know what that's intending it's just like sending somebody a message saying like like sending a message to your friend as a joke saying oh I hate you well I wish we weren't friends like and that's supposed to be your joke or something like that I don't know that's kind of a cruel joke but stuff like that where you send them a message where it's kind of like supposed to be a joke but you can like literally, you can literally in send me a mess, send me a text message, or send me a message on Skype, and I can interpret it like a hundred different ways. And it's just the individual person, how their personality is, and that's how they interpret each thing that they read. So when you're typing stuff, it can get misinterpreted. Like you can mean something completely different than what you're saying, and people can do that. So that's kind of the same thing with the dislike button, the like button, like. I guess like button is as much because you're just like, oh, they liked it. But the dislike button, because as a kind of a YouTuber, because I usually consider YouTubers like the bigger people, but like people as a person who makes a videos on YouTube and is a content creator, I'll, it's, it's, I always want to improve my content for the better of the channel and for the better of your guys' entertainment, the small amount of people I do have that watch the videos. So... That's the whole point, is that's why I try to improve, but when I leave a dis- when- not when I leave- when people leave a dislike, 
I always like it if you could like leave reasoning and I'm not like begging because like oh I don't like people just like the whatever we already went through that but basically it's just helpful because I don't know if it's like you dislike the video because you didn't like what I said because I said oh I don't know if I want to continue YouTube or not and you're just like oh no I want you to continue YouTube dislike or if you're just like oh this video is trash dislike or if you're disliked whatever it was for it just helps me to know like, for instance, if you come to the channel and you click on this video, you watch to this point and you're like, that was the worst video I've ever seen in my life. Um, his audio was terrible, um, his video quality was really terrible, I just ha hated everything. Well then, if my audio is terrible or my video is terrible or whatever ever is bad about it, if you, can, if you can't pick something out that's completely fine, if you don't know why you dislike it, you just do then that's fine, but if you, like, it really helps me out, even if you're th saying, like, oh, you, you're annoying, please stop talking, that helps me out too, even though, you know, it's not helping me out at the same time, but it just helps me out when people say, like, oh, I, this video wasn't that good, I didn't, I didn't like it that much, just for the fact, like, the video, at that one point, the video glitched out, and it just really annoyed me, and the audio was off the whole video, and then I'll go, oh, oh, okay, yeah, I got that. Next time I'll make sure that doesn't happen, and I'll make sure I'll fix that and pay more attention to when the audio gets off or whatever the reason is. So then, next time, I know to watch more carefully for that. Like, if I do something bad, okay, sometimes it might be something where it's like literally I cannot change something to fix it, and sometimes where it's, it might be like an editing mistake or it might be something I did. So I'll be like, okay, next time I'll keep more watch on that, and I'll make sure it's better next time. Or if there's certain things I do in my effects or different things I think are funny and you guys are like, oh, that's really stupid. Why do you do that? Oh, like, I hate that thing that you do. Just let me know and then I'll go, oh, okay, and I'll take that in consideration and try different styles of things. Is I'm, I don't just do YouTube to entertain myself and have fun, like, make myself happy. As I do it to make other people happy and just, you know, to have fun making content, whatever, whoever wants to watch, whatever. Um... Whatever I want to do, I just like playing video games and stuff and making videos and doing whatever and I just want to share that with many other people who have the similar interest. And that's my goal. Is At first it was kind of like everybody does, they're like, oh yeah I want to get YouTube famous. It wasn't really YouTube famous but I just wanted to make videos and I wanted to try and grow to a decent size and get a bigger channel and get people to watch and just, you know, people to kind of look at my channel. But now it's kind of more, it's kind of more that I've realized that it's not necessarily about how many people look at your channel, it's more about the experience and different things you get out of it. Because I've gotten a lot of out of YouTube, it's changed a lot of my perspective on things, and it's sh there's certain moments that have actually shaped me as a person. So if you're looking at getting into YouTube, this has turned into that, like, you know, that's one thing. If cer certain things, certain mistakes can completely shape your personality. Not like completely, okay, partially shape it because it wouldn't just completely change who you are, but you know what I mean, it can add on to your personality and you can realize, oh, well, something I did wasn't good and then you can realize and you can apply that in many different things. I just, I just wanted to talk about the dislike button once again because I was... I'm, I like, I've looked at the dislike buttons, like, so many times, it's just, there's that, like, maybe I'll get 10 likes, and then it'll just be that one dislike, and I'll be like, okay, like, what did I do wrong? Because I want to constantly improve the content, like I stated, so, when there's just that one dislike, and there's no comment kind of letting me know what I did wrong, it kind of doesn't help me out, so, I can imagine, I bet you, I bet you right now, there's going to be a dislike on this video, and there's gonna be no one telling me what I did wrong because that's the thing is like like I said I don't know what you're disliking about if you're disliking that you know me like I'm bad at commentating or whatever or you just hate the video then you know I don't really know or if you're saying the audio was bad so you didn't like it or whatever you were saying you didn't like it how am I supposed to know you didn't like it for whatever reason because you didn't tell me because think about it you know, you could hate my videos just because, like I said, the audio is bad or the video is bad or something. And then if you just tell me, I could literally make it just that much better if it's within my possibility to make it better. Is I'm not saying like, oh, I'm going to change for every individual person, but I'm going to try and make my best content. And if people can suggest me how to make the best content, that's how that I can make my better content because I can't make...
better content by myself like yes I, I can I can improve my content on my own criticizing myself but it helps to get other people's opinion just like the highlights series is a good way to get to know like what other people might like is sure not everybody has the exact same taste but you know it's kind of a general idea of what other people might find the best moments of videos so then I know what I can do better to make more moments like that not to try and like force moments like that but make build a better atmosphere to make better videos that instead of being just that one moment that happened in that one highlights make that the whole video and then it's you know just a step up and a step up and a step up so it just helped me out didn't want to like didn't mean to go on like you know a complete tangent about like whatever this and all that so once again the dislike button doesn't mean anything to me like for instance like it doesn't make me sad it doesn't make me go <laughs> you know, it just like it doesn't make me cry or anything it doesn't make me like freak out like oh no I got a dislike I must solve this problem it like if you dislike you dislike it doesn't really matter to me I'm just it's just basically it's just a sign for me to like okay I, I did something that someone didn't like in this video so I need to take a step up on my content and make myself better so then that person instead of leaving the dislike will leave a like or they'll just be neutral because neutral is better than dislike but I mean necessarily the dislike doesn't really matter to me like I said but I just want to make sure everybody is pleased with what content I'm putting out and I know that not everybody's gonna be pleased with the content I'm putting out but I'm trying to put out the best content I possibly can um, and that's the goal so yeah Basically, yeah, just putting out the best content I can within my possibilities. Because obviously there are certain things I can't do. Like, I can't step up certain things because that would require, like, me buying new stuff. And, yeah, I do have money and all that. But I don't want to spend, like, I don't want to invest my life into YouTube. And then, you know, have that be, like, something that never does anything. Like, I don't want to spend a thousands of dollars on just just something that can be used just for YouTube like I have a camera that I use over here like this camera itself like I can use I can use that for Skype I can use that for other things rather than just doing these videos I have my other camera that I record with for normal videos that you know I can use that for taking pictures taking videos of everyday life you know whatever else you know that's not just for YouTube I have a microphone I can talk to people just on games or over Skype and different stuff. I have a keyboard and a computer that I can use to just play games for fun, watch videos, do whatever else. And I have different, I have a few things that are just, that can basically just be used for YouTube. But like, that's not too many, is because usually when I look into purchases, I usually make sure that they're multi purpose things rather than just YouTube. And I, like, I realize I can make the content better, but. I, I, I really believe in the fact of that a lot of people say for YouTube is record and make videos with what you have is that if you have something even a phone even a phone can do good it's, it's not necessarily the quality of videos even though like a lot of times that is a good part of it if you have good quality that's very good but a lot of times it's the personality and what you push out and what values you have on your channel and what you try and strive for that's what makes your channel rather than just you know you posting videos because if you're just a complete like person that like everybody hates nobody's gonna want to watch your videos unless they're like really funny or something or really good so that's why you gotta kind of have a mix of everything and some are more powerful than others so you want to make sure you can do the best with what you got this has turned into kind of more of an inspirational video, so I'm going to end it now because it's going way too long. I always ramble on with everything. Uh, I can't stop talking because I go like, oh, dislike button, and then I say something, and then, oh, now this, and I go to inspirational speech, spe speaker, if I could speak, you know, if for my apparent job of inspirational speaker, I can't speak very well. Um... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Yeah, um, if you guys do have any problems, like if you're gonna, if you're thinking, hey, this video is terrible, I'm gonna dislike it. Let me know what, like, what might cause that dislike. Um, if you have a reason, if you just look at the video and you're just like, I don't like it, and you don't have any reasoning for it, okay, leave the dislike. Like, if you have like a certain reason, like I said, audio or whatever 
you know, if there's some problem, let me know because then I can improve that hopefully and make sure that it doesn't happen again because I know I do make mistakes, I'm human, so, you know, it helps me to know, oh, you made this mistake, so then I can watch harder out for that e exact mistake so then it doesn't happen again. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. You know, it means a lot when you guys do subscribe and do stay active, so if you do, thank you so much for watching these videos. And if you watch the end, you know, you guys are the MVPs because you guys are amazing. I know there are some people who do watch all the way to the end, and there are some people who watch the first 20 seconds. Either way, I, I like I like all you guys, but who, you who watch all the way to the end of these videos, even when they're these long vlogs that are way stretched out longer than they need to be, that means a lot to me. And thank you so much. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you choose to join the nation. The Wither Nation, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. See you later.